Good morning, welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We currently have some cloudy skies out there, a few rain showers around the area. Taking a look at the radar this morning, you can see we had those rain showers earlier today, well, excuse me, last night, and looking for those rain showers to move through uh, for this morning. I'm going to see the uh, sky is starting to clear as we move into the later portion of today. See, we have one rain shower. It's currently moving towards the Wabs region, currently uh, just east of Crisfield uh, into Tangier, and move towards our area in the next half an hour or so, giving us a quick shot of some rain. And then once that moves through, we should see dry conditions for the remainder of the day. Taking a look at our uh, current surface analysis, we have this cold front that's currently moved through the region at south and east of our area that's going to provide us with uh, those few rain showers this morning and then we'll see high pressure build in afterwards and that area high pressure does have some cold air with it and that will allow for us to see temperatures only in the uh, lower 50s today for highs and we'll really see that colder air mass move in as we move into later tonight. This cold front will stall just off the Carolina coast and we'll have an area low pressure riding along that cold front for tomorrow evening into uh, early Friday morning. Taking a look at our current observation across the uh, area, we have an overcast deck at 6,500 feet. Winds were out of the northwest at 320 degrees at 6 knots, temperature 45 degrees, and relative humidity at 62 percent. Taking a look at our uh, satellite imagery this morning, you can see we have a good amount of upper level cloud cover across the region associated with that frontal boundary over the area, riding on the southwesterly flow in the upper levels. That's providing us with these cloudy skies this morning. Going to see this upper level cloudiness remain over the area for much of the day today. And we'll see that uh, cloud deck around 6,500 feet slowly erode as we move into the uh, late morning hours into the early afternoon hours today. All right, taking a look at our three kilometer NAM model and how the uh, reflectivity may look for the next few days. Here is uh, this morning. Moving into uh, 9 o'clock, you can see those rain showers moving through. So this is initially initializing excuse me, quite well this morning. Moving into the afternoon hours, we'll see that rainfall and the uh, mid-level climate move off to the south and east, and we'll see high pressure starting to build in. Looks like uh, we'll see fairly clear conditions moving to the evening hours tonight before we'll see an increase of upper-level climate overnight. And you can see this uh, precipitation starting to build off to the south and to the west as we move into Thursday morning and by late Thursday afternoon we're going to see this area low pressure bring in some precipitation across the region and we'll have that colder air mass in place so it looks like uh, by about four to six o'clock tomorrow evening we're going to see some snow showers move in the region and that's going to be uh, all thanks to that area low pressure off of the south and east this is Forecast looks to be very difficult at the time, uh, this current time, as we'll have a sharp gradient between where the snowfall sets up and how far, far north it is able to reach. Right now, it does look like uh, the central and southern portions of the Delmarva should see a period of snowfall, especially tomorrow evening into the early overnight hours, and uh, that could provide us with a light accumulation across the region. Looking at the European model and how that's uh, resolving this uh, situation coming up for Thursday, you can see high pressure building in with colder air moving in across the region. We'll see that area low pressure building off the Carolina coast and that will provide us with that snowfall or snow showers across the uh, southern portion of the Delmar Peninsula. The European here doesn't, European model doesn't allow for that snow to get much farther north than the Virginia Maryland border, uh, but uh, it has been trending farther north. And you can see this area low pressure a little bit farther north than uh, has been depicted in the previous few runs off the Carolina coast. With the heaviest snowfall, looks like it should be uh, south of our region across the tidewater into North Carolina. Just giving you a quick look at the uh, European Ensemble and how that's doing with the uh, snowfall accumulation across the region. You can see the uh, one inch line is around Melfa with uh, extending uh, just close to Wallops Island and the half inch line around Salisbury. This has trended up in the last few runs and we'll continue to monitor the uh, continue to monitor the uh, runs in the next few uh, few hours and uh, continue to give a better refined forecast on the snowfall accumulation uh, for our Thursday night. So looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have that yellow for the rain showers moving through this morning. A high around 52 degrees today 
a low around 31 tonight. We'll see north northwesterly winds this afternoon, 9 to 14 knots, gusting to 20 knots, and we'll see those winds die down out of the north to north earth north east, excuse me, at 5 to 10 knots tomorrow morning. We'll average out anywhere from uh, cloudy to mostly cloudy today. As I mentioned, we'll have that clearing most likely this evening, and then we'll have those upper level cloudiness uh, clouds built in for the overnight hours. Our next 24 hours, we should see VFR conditions uh, with uh, just those ceilings around 6,6500 feet this morning. Then they'll continue to move up with the broken deck around 10,000 at noon, and then after that, we just should see should see a ceiling around 25,000 feet. By tomorrow morning, we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions with the upper level cirrus cloudiness across the region. Our tides are normal, and looking at Thursday into Friday, Thursday partly cloudy to mostly cloudy during the morning, becoming mostly cloudy to overcast during the afternoon, and we'll have that chance of snow showers by late afternoon and early evening. We'll have a high of 39 degrees. Uh, yellow for our precipitation and a yellow for the ceilings. Thursday night overcast with a chance of snow showers through early overnight. Snowfall accumulation looks like to be around an inch right now and clearing uh, skies as we move into the later overnight hours. We'll have a low of 24 degrees, an orange for our precipitation as well as our ceilings and uh, winds will become gusty once that uh, area low pressure moves off the coastline and the precipitation ends. And for Friday we'll have mostly sunny and cold conditions, breezy winds early, and a high of only 37 degrees with a uh, yellow for our winds around 25 knots, especially during the morning hours. Well, that's going to complete our 815 Daily Operations Weather Brief. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.